YouTube, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Here our last time Zidane had a, I guess an identity issue, man. He was just not doing good, man. All right, we got through, hell yeah. Onward. Yeah, Zidane had a bit of a identity issue, it seemed like, man. He was just, Saying I don't need anybody's help. I don't need my friends. I don't need this and that, you know All the way up. The hell are we now? Guess we're on up. What's up, bro? I got a letter for you. It's my first time using Magnet and my first letter, Kubo. Hmm, what should I write about, Kubo? The heck was that all about, Kubo? <laughs> Alright, let's do a quick save, real quick. Howdy flat and onward. Danger ahead, Kubo. Do you still want to go on ahead? Yeah. I just saved it, so I should be fine. Alright. Oh, goodness. What is that? There's the observatory. You told me you'd become my angel of death. But think for a moment, isn't life death itself? It must kill other life forms to survive. Sometimes it even kills those with whom it shares blood. To live is to give life meaning, yet one must take others' lives to... I need to read all that. Darn. A mature civilization becomes aware of this paradox. Terrorist souls will sleep until they forget such nonsense. They will begin a new life in a new dimension. It's a world in which life and death become one. That is the dimension in which we are meant to live, as beings that transcend life and death. Zidane, I'll ask you one more time. Who are you? You're a sad man, Garland. I know more than you. We're not perfect. We have friends who help us. That is reason enough for us to live. I may not know who I really am, but that is my question alone to answer. It took us a long time, but we all found our way. We may be weak, but that's what makes a, us work together and help one another. Then show me, lecture me again when you are on the verge of death. Oh boy, looks like a boss fight. Maybe not a bus? No? Oh, it might be, I don't know. Alright, let's get it. It's gonna hurt a lot. Fire sword. Ugh.
Okay, cool. All right. Come on, do that damage. What's that do? Did you even say? Or did I just miss it? <laughs> Miss? Oh, come on now. Aerial slash can hurt a little bit. Oh, oh, BB. Double comet, nice. I want to give Sandra a high potion here. I'm getting two to get him back up. It doesn't say how much it does. How weird. Bizarre. Double combat, baby, let's go. Huh. Yes, sir, Vivi, let's go, brother. Let's get him. Oh, this thing takes forever to kill. Good grief. Which be is this thing got? Come on, kill it already. Good, good, good stuff. Garland, tell me. What is it that you want to accomplish? The restoration of Terra. Isn't it obvious? No, that's what the people of Terra want. Why are you asleep with the rest of them? I was created to oversee Terra. I exist away for a time when this world is without life or death. I am the absolute controller of this planet. Oh boy, now's the boss fight. <laughs> Oh, we didn't heal up either, did we? That's annoying. Wait. Oh, God. Get him. Wow, fire did absolutely nothing to him, bro. Why'd he get all dark? Whoa. Oh, okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Go 
Guys, the Dane does so much damage, bro. 4,000 plus a hit, bro. It's so good. Dude, Comet does a lot of damage too sometimes, bro. Help this dude has. He probably has a lot. Um, that's gonna hurt a lot, actually. for that. I don't think a remedy would do it. Maybe. I don't know. Find out real quick. Yes. Shiva, get him. Please. Kick his butt. Come on. Get rid of an elixir. I need her to have an elixir right now. Fight well, give it up, Garland. What the? Oh, it's Kuja. Ha 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 ha. This is too easy. The invincible is mine. I have the power to control all souls. Garland game every everything without a fight. The old fool's too busy dealing with him. Now only death awaits him. Poor Garland, bitten by his own dog. This is no accident. Fate has chosen me to become the new ruler of Terra. Time for me to put on the finishing touches. Oh, that's not good. I must say, I truly love you all. You know that I broke the seal of Terra, but it did me the favor of defeating Garland. Zidane, you are truly an extraordinary genome deserving of my love. What are you doing here, Kuja? It's not a very nice way to greet your brother. Shut up, you're no brother of mine. 
Oh, such ferocity. Master Garland, he intends to fight Terra. Kuja, what are you scheming? Scheming me? Watch me as I defeat these enemies of Terra. Come on now, you may sleep alongside the souls of Terra for all eternity. Oh dear. Oh great, now we gotta take on Kuja now? an attack show me your true power oh you gonna get it brother Damage, I don't call that an attack for sure. Come on, get him. Well, Dagger, you did pretty good. Come on. What does this dude got? Let's cut your HP in half, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's half your HP about. That's um now we're back in the two thousand health range, baby. Get his ass.
Yes. Uh. The time is now. This is the power of trance. Hmm. Oh, hell. I forgot about this part. Oh, Jesus. I'll show you my true power. Ultima. Oh, God. This is the power I've longed for. Light air power of souls, they assault any threat that tries to destroy me. What do you mean? It's trance, you know how it works. But a normal trance will be enough to defeat you. You're all as resilient as all gloves. Even tiny moguls possess the power of trance. When I saw that in Gulag Volcano, I came up with a plan. It's easy, I just need the power from wretched souls that can't die. Where did I acquire it? It was the invincible, or should I say, large eyeball in the sky. Ships sucked up the souls of Maiden Sari, the Eva Tree, Alexandria, to feed upon them. When I found Muhammad at the Eva Tree, the invincible drew in a powerful spirit. Can you guess to whom it belonged? No. That's right, it was your mother's soul, a wretched soul that clung to life to the bitter end. The souls trapped inside the invincible welcomed me with open arms. They were fed up with being your prisoner's garland. So Master Garland, you are no longer needed, and after you work so hard, I shall rule Terra and Guy with my own conditional love from now on. What will you do with such power? Master Garland, you of all people should accept defeat gracefully. Ah. How sad. Any last words? Your power is meaningless. Ah! Now it's your turn. Should I kill you quickly to show my appreciation for all you've done? Should I kill you slowly and painfully to show you my love? Oh, I've got a great idea. How's this? I'll make you pillars for my castle. You'll all decorate my castle as a symbol of my eternal kingdom. How do you like that? No, never. You can never build an eternal kingdom. That voice, Garland? Did you leave something behind? Do you think a defect like you could last forever? What What do you mean? I built you to last only until the worthy genome Zidane grew. It's too dangerous to let you last any longer than that. What are you saying? There's a limit on your life. You'll be dead soon. Even as I die, you'll have died without even leaving your mark on the world. <laughs> what an interesting lie. You're telling me that my life will end soon? <laughs> nice try, Garland, but I won't fall for your silly tricks, Garland. Garland, answer me. You were created to destroy. You are immortal. Immortal. I'm finished? I don't believe you. Why would I believe such a silly story? You're telling me that I'll die soon now that I'm more powerful than anyone? I'm gonna die? Lose my soul? <laughs> what comedy! Zidane, isn't it hilarious? I'll die just like the black mages I so despise. I singularly brought chaos unto Gaia, but in the end I'm nothing but a worthless doll. Kuja. Would you? I won't let it happen. I won't. I won't let this world exist without me. Uh oh. That's not good.
He's just trying. He's destroying Terra single-handedly. before the tower collapses. But how? We need to carry the injured out too. Let's still Kuja ship the invincible. I'm at, it's at the bottom of the tower. Oh yeah, but... Alright, you guys head for the ship. I'm gonna rescue the genomes. They're victims. I can't just abandon them. Coming with you. Dagger? I don't want you to leave us again. So I'll keep watch over you. Okay, we should be able to go back to the warp gate on the other tower. Dagger and I will head back to Bramble. You guys come get us on the invincible. It's like a teleporter leading to the upper levels. Might take us back to Bramble. Huh. What's wrong? Behind you. Just eyes. Okay, let's go. Just eyes. I'm very bold of you. <laughs> um, dagger. Yes. Uh, about what happened earlier. Visiting. Oh, jeez. I feel like I'm being watched. Say it, we need to hurry. Um, you came to rescue me, right? And, uh, what do you say to me? Are you really happy today? How can I say this? Um, This dinky old tower is gonna collapse any minute. I like how armor and goes so slow. I know find good food on Terra. Maybe I eat eyeball over there. Quiet, hurry up, or you'll be left behind. I happy we leave no good food anywhere. I think we're still okay. Let's evacuate the genomes. We've got the right idea for sure. Get them out of there. Save them. All right, let's go onward. Go go go. Saying, let's split up. Yeah, I'll go this way. We'll meet up when the invisible arrives. My gosh, the ship is enormous. Judging from our current position, I believe the bridge is that way. Hold it, where's Quina? Ah, uh, she he late. Again. Oh ho, I arrive. I warp inside from bottom of ship. Why are you underneath the ship in the first place? Thank you for later, we just want to get the ship moving. What are you still doing here? We need to evacuate. What's the point? There are only empty vessels. Stop talking like that. Do you really believe what you just said? Unlike the rest of them, Garland gave me a soul that I might replace you and Kuja, but Garland is dead. Terror will soon be destroyed. What's the point? I asked myself the same question. Did you find an answer? No, but maybe the point is just try. It's going to be hard, but I've got my friends. It isn't so bad. Hey, what's your name? Huh? 
Girl, only gave you a name, didn't he? My name is Makoto. Makoto, huh? That's a nice name. A lot of people are going to call you that from now on. You have to find the answer yourself. It'll be hard, but you can do it. Let's go to the new world, Makoto. There you can find your answer. Dagger, where is the Dane? He'll be here any minute. He's looking for the last genome. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. The Dane. Sorry I'm late, but now we got everyone. Everyone on board now. We must leave immediately. Oh, no, I don't want to skip the movie. Terra's gone. We made it. You know, we managed to escape from Terra, but what's wrong for you? I was talking to Amaran about it earlier. You don't think this is the end, do you? Are you talking about Kuja? Do you really think he perished with Terra? Even with his power, it's hard to believe that he'd have escaped unscathed. What do you think is the end? What will Kuja do next? I'll probably try to destroy Gaia. But how? There is one thing Garland said. Something about a tree that serves as a gateway of souls between Gaia and Terra. That must be... Yeah, it's the Aoife tree. Everyone. You must come look. Come with me. What's up, Star? Can't you just tell us? It would be faster come see it on the bridge. What's up? They're just clouds. It's not a normal cloud. What? It's all our altitude and see. Don't you see our altitude is not very high and this is all we can see. Then what could it be? It's mist. It's what black mages are made out of. And what used to cover the mist continent. The mist has covered all of Gaia. Why? How? Kuja, what are you planning now? Thanks. They were uneasy at first, but I think they'll get along fine. There's no need to thank me. You've done us all a great service. It wasn't a big deal. Anyway, everything's gonna be okay. Are you sure it's okay for them to stay here? Of course it is. So this was Vivi's idea? Yeah. He wanted the genomes to start their new lives here. We're similar in many ways. Maybe we can understand them better and they might open up to us. Right. He also said... You guys can get along with the genomes. Maybe humans and black mages can live alongside each other someday. Like you and Vivi? I didn't even know if I truly understand him until recently. I'll take good care of him. Your friends are our friends. Thanks. Hey, there we go. Two groups. Is this a monster? He's a chocobo, not a monster. He's called Bobby Corwin. Oh, you gave him a name. Yeah, Bobby Corwin. Isn't it a great name? That was great. Bobby Corwin, huh? I think Bobby Corwin likes you too. It won't bite. Oh, come on. He's just a little baby chocobo. Bobby Corwin, no. Come back here. Wow, I think Bobby Corwin really likes our new friend. I just call him by his first name. <laughs> Why do you display these items? Why? For the customers, I think. What are customers? Well, they bring money and they hand the money over to the shop and then... What is money? Money is, a. Uh, why do you care about small things? World, very simple place. World only have two things. Things you can eat and things you know can eat. <laughs> Does the water here ever stay still? 
Water flows, doesn't it? The water of Ben Bowl was always still. Hey, you know that time flow is just like water? So water and time both flow in Gaia? Looks like they're off to a good start. Huh. It's like watching kids play. It's not their fault. They've only just begun to live their lives. Can lost time be recovered? I don't know, but there's only one thing we can do. Of course, let's protect them from anyone who tries to take their time away from them. Yes, sir. Princess, this really is this what you really wish? Hmm. What are you talking about? Kuja must have done something in the Aoife tree to cover the world in mist. Do you not think it's wise to consult Regent Sib the final battle? Kuja, Kuja probably plans on destroying Gaia. If I go to Lemnum now and tell the region about it, it might cause a panic. I'm sure everyone is apprehensive about the reappearance of the mist. I need Uncle Sid to protect Lemnum right now. Indeed, we must defeat the enemy on our own. And if we go back to Lemon to get equipped, please don't tell Uncle Sid about our plans. Are we ready? Yes, let's go. You haven't got a chance. You saw Kuja Power. He destroyed the world by himself. You only have a million and one chance of defeating him. You all die. All this girl knows lots of difficult words. Doesn't she? She's a bit cynical, but take good care of her, will you? Her name is Makoto. She's kind of like my little sister. What? Mikado, listen to your big brother and make some friends. How silly. Might be desperate insects to Kuja, but I'll show you how powerful we can be. Even a fly lives for a day. I don't think that's what Zidane meant. Let's go to the Aoife tree. Won't let Kuja have his way. Alright, we got our powerhouses now, baby. Okay, well, where do we need to go exactly? We need to go to the Aoife tree? No? Yes? I don't know. Alright, so well, I'm going to end the episode here, and next time we will hopefully finish the game, I think. I think we're close. The next episode of the one after, we'll be done with this game. We just gotta go take on Kuja. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. I'll see you next time. Take care.